1989, a fresh crop of strange circles started appearing across the British countryside. Never believed in crop circles. Of course not. But not I so. did. It looked like beginning the vision on in a field. Well, I think it's something we just don't understand. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I thought it was aliens. Somebody else came up with the idea of a hole in the ozone layer. It was actually the Earth itself. It was Gaia. It was, it was the Earth calling out. A lot of people did think it was helicopters making the damn things. And there are all sorts of conspiracy theories about how it was tabloid editors in the silly season just employing dwarves with scissors to go around <laughs> and cut, cut circles out of the corn crops. Some people say the circles are made by spacecraft from other worlds. It's not from this Earth. Crop circles are people arsing about. It is not aliens. Do the math. The, the way the corn is swept around in them. Would an emissary from a super intelligent race on the other side of the galaxy think, host, and how shall we make contact with the people of Earth? And, and you've got the four evenly spaced where I should think feet have come down or something. What should we do? Shall we, you know, interrupt their radio and TV broadcasts? Should we, you know, land? Or should we arse about in the field in Yeovil? and leave a bit of a pattern. It's hardly a plan for dominating the Earth, is it? The Japanese professor who came to examine them claims they're caused by a plasma vortex, and the English professor claims they're caused by the weather. We started charging yesterday because I did put a sign up to try and discourage people, but obviously the need is to go and stand in the circle. They're canny old bunch farmers. If they can make money out of anything, they do. And I didn't charge pensioners or people under 18, which I wish I had done now, but there we go. Um, and at the time, I think uh, what people didn't know was there was uh, two artists from Hampshire uh, called Doug and Dave. But today, newspaper claimed they and all the other crop circle scientists are wrong. In its article, it describes how so-called land artists Doug Boer and Dave Chorley have been making circles all over the south of England for the past 13 years. It was clear that a bunch of drunks were getting one over on the world. Whether today's claim that the circles are a hoax is itself true or not, the debate over corn circles is only likely to end when they stop appearing. Oh,